Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go over what is Domo and why is it cool. All right. Now, before we start, I would like you to do something for me. I'd like you to think about a cuisine that you cook. And if you don't cook anything, think about something a loved one or a parent or whatever would cook. And here's the reason why. I think a lot of data stuff is very similar to cooking. And I love to do both. Okay. We have to do three things when we prepare a dish. We have to go get some ingredients. We have to actually prep it, cook it, whatnot, and then we have to plate it. And that's what Domo does. Let's show you this instance that we can use as an example. So check this out. I'm going to go to data right here at the top, this little sign that looks like I say cookies stacked on top of each other. And you'll see here that if I click connectors, this, this uh, cloud icon, that at a grocery store, each of these would be like an aisle, a grocery aisle, right? And Domo has literally 1,000 of these connectors, 1,000 grocery aisles. And why is that amazing? Obviously, it's amazing because there's so much stuff. But another reason why it's good is because I've, I've used other competitors like Tableau, Power BI, Data Studio, Google Data Studio, uh, Google Sheets, you know, Excel, which people are using as BI tools, meaning business intelligence tools. And I would recommend against the last two because they're not as as frequent or as as powerful as you might need them to be. But anyway, for the other ones like Tableau and Power BI, those have about 80 connectors, right? And connectors is a fancy way of saying a connected API, basically, where you already have credentials saved, all that junk. Now, if it's only 80, check this out. Let's go, let's go take a look. Let's go say we wanted to see some Google stuff, right? So I want, yeah, I want Google Sheets, one Google Ads, two, three Google Analytics, great, BigQuery, sure, four. Uh, where's Search Console? Search Console's five, great. Here, sure, we'll say that's for Google. That's five things from Google. Let's also do Adobe while we're here. Great, Adobe Analytics, six. Okay, let's do SAP, sure, seven, eight, who cares? Let's go Salesforce. 9, 10. I mean, the reason why I'm showing you this is because if I do this, HubSpot 11. Okay, let's do Bing. Sure, there's some Bing stuff in there. There's LinkedIn, obviously. 12, maybe. Facebook, there's both paid and organic. Same thing with Instagram. My point is this, is if I'm already at 15 in about, I don't know, 30 seconds of announcing types of connections I would need, or let's say 20 to, to make it easy. If I'm at 20 already within those 30 seconds, 20 out of 1,000, not a big deal. 20 out of 80 connectors, that's uh, quite a bit, right? A fourth. And and I remember being in some rooms with some salespeople from these other companies, and they would tell me, oh, well, you know, you can hook up a, you can hook up a Snowflake instance to, to whatever and put it in there, then go write a query from Snowflake to to whatever. And it's like, this is too much stuff. I just wanted it to be easy. So that's the first reason why Domo is amazing. Just having all these connectors, getting data in, which you can also do through an SFTP. You can do through email, Google Drive, whatever you want. Okay. First one. Second reason why Domo is pretty cool is because we can do this. We can make an ETL. It stands for Extract, Transform, Load. An ETL is how do we prep and how do we cook our data. So check it out, right? Pretty basic. I could just drag and drop stuff go left to right, very easy to understand. I know how to write SQL, but even that, you know, you have to really look at code and you kind of have to do it in one shot with subqueries. So having it go in a linear fashion, like you're reading, easy, easy, fantastic. And the third thing, why is Domo pretty good is because of plating. So check this out, right? If just because you spend a lot of time cooking, if it doesn't look good, it's going to be very hard for someone to want to eat it or to digest it. So what you can do is you can plate it very well. You can make the data look good. And what we're trying to do with dashboarding, I'm going to get on this later, is trying to find insights and trying to make your eyes move fast. That is the goal, right? And Domo allows me to do this really, really, really easy, really, really fast. So that's a quick synopsis overview of why, of what Domo is, three things that I think it does well, and why it's pretty cool. If you want to continue, I'm going to have some other videos out where you can follow along with me and actually get your hands dirty. You can have a video maybe on one monitor and actually open up Domo and follow along and, and do everything that I'm doing because I'm going to use stuff that is already embedded. And then you can go cook yourself a meal and feel good about yourself. All right. Okay, great. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.